Saturday. Hello. This is to my guys who is coming later on. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. I'm now going to prepare insulation and stuff up in this piece of the floor. And we're going to put these floor panels. That's going to be really cool to do actually. Looking forward for it. First thing I did now is cut those with, uh, it's not straight, it's uh, like the ang angle of the roof. And I put them in there. And now I'm going to insulate further on. Yes then, few plates are on. And I think it's going good. Very good. Very good. Niklas has been waking up also. Well, yeah, 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 he yeah. said I've been at fitness studio and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. I cannot see any different on you. Still skinny. <laughs> I don't, but, uh, I don't know. I think we're just going to push on and we're going to finish this floor to here today. Uh, no, I'm a little bit spent. <clears throat> this is going to go wrong. Yeah, bra. Yeah, bra. Can ner. It's not everyone who have an elevator in the workshop. Da. <laughs> now I'm also preparing some electricity or some wiring for my speakers. Also over there, going to be one box there, and yeah, this is important to don't forget now when the floor is not completely done. Ah, bra gut här, det är bra där jobba här! Like that, we also now moved a lot of insulation from my dad's workshop up there. And now we go home, take a shower, and we're going to go down to town. Down in town, we're going to take a, have a nice dinner. Then we're going to go and watch the new James Bond movie. That I'm actually looking forward to. Ah, Jon Rally, I've been out and driftet, also. I found the gap, and the gap was too small. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Doing some piping. Here, not that. This is going to be the all the water and stuff from the kitchen over here. Going to go down in this one and down down there into the guest bathroom. All right, today's project. Here at Mercedes Benz in my town, they are reconstructing, constructing. So all this is going down. I'm taking this door now, and I'm taking a lot of glass, and I'm going to show you something more. Can I film it? I take my videologgen, or? Yeah. So here we got Thomas. How are you doing, ah? Hello. He actually been in my videolog earlier, long time ago, when he was working from diamond putting. He was helping me cutting out the hole in the, my brother's workshop floor. Look here now. This is a door, sliding door. It was two over there. They are already at my workshop. Now I'm gonna take those two also. Look here now guys, I'm taking out this aluminium track. It's gonna be in the bottom, I'm gonna use it on the sliding door I'm making at home at the workshop. It's perfect. Are you true? <laughs> I did this this morning also, you know. We're not gonna tell them how that ended <laughs> or went. Did not went go good. Is it looking good? No. No, so. That's the one I'm going to be with. Pretty good. It's going to be good. As you guys saw, we put on the first plate. Now I'm going to do the second one, but now we're going to rip off the. Uh, I don't know. The protection plastic was on the white one. That's I'm not going to remove on this one. Because I actually forgot. I'm going to have this one outside, you know, and it's going to make scratches on it. So it was stupid of me to take off the protection plastic. But I was so horny to see how it's going to look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
I am continuing a new little bit on the gator today. It's totally mounted there. Same up there. I'm gonna have a support on this one later for the gap. And now I am making this one, making this support. I'm gonna weld here now. Put one there and one there because this is a U profile. And they're gonna go into it like it like it is now. Now oh, then I'm done mounting all the support and weld them on. And this is gonna be really solid now. Then I can do like this with door. It should fit into that one. We're gonna wait. I'm gonna put on the foam. Yes, the zero foam here now. Yeah, da er det bare å prøve. Ja, 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 ja. Tøft. Now you can drive underneath here and lift it up. Full gas. We're gonna use this now as cover on this gate. Some pieces here are removed. And now then, I'm gonna build up with those to close this space. Meanwhile, Martina has been closing down the roof repair because now we're going to take down that gate and later on the roof here then. So then, head up baby. This one is done mured up and I put foam there. Hello, Martina. Martina. Martina here has uh, cut it down the roof. So now I'm just going to close this a little bit more and start to hammer down this roof yeah. This morning I told Martina, hey, can you please help me today? And I said, it's going to be something which is not that boring as usual to do. And I said, we're going to take down the roof. Then she was like, whoa. After many hours now, she's finally there. She can hammer it down. <laughs> then was it done? We also cleaned up a little bit. Now Martini is packing down this. I'm now, like I told you earlier, I have to make the hole here to the locking mechanism. And I have to make a hole here where the lock is going to go through. Funny. She's working. Yeah, it's a new day. Now I'm going to do something boring. It takes a lot of time. I actually been upstairs when I were piping up for the kitchen and I've been cleaning a lot there since yesterday, so already done a lot, but this is gonna be boring now. I have to make the hole I made here yesterday was just quickly to get home, but now I have to make this one huger, so this lock is fitting. And I'm gonna make one more of those here. And I have to make one more hole and stuff here and adjust this a little bit, so gonna take time and it's boring. middle of the day now I also have the place to show the sprinter I brought home from Germany so I can register it or sell it now then and then I was reading some of the comments underneath the last video and uh, huge thanks to all of you guys who have comment and uh, appreciate all the all the positive answers that's pretty cool actually so we will see what the future brings about this I'm gonna show you what I did before I left yeah, this was almost ready this morning but I also made this one now, so I got, no, I got two. Here I'm gonna put the one with the key later on because this is gonna be to, with the key to lock. This is gonna be like this, yeah. And I have removed this wood piece that was here from the old gate. Now I'm gonna weld on one more metal bracket down there and a little more about that or something. Yeah, yeah. One thing I think is pretty cool these days and also is um, have nothing to do with the workshop. It's about my friend. Emil Antonsen, he uh, he called me and asked if I can help him to do a small uh, small paint job on his car. And uh, normally, I when people ask me that, I say, help me here first, couple of years, and I will help you with your problem later on. But when Emil called, I said, um, just call me the car. It's no problem. I fix it. And after he delivered it, I told him, um, it's gonna take a couple of weeks before I can do it. So the car have to stay here. <laughs> This is the reason. It's uh, <laughs> this one. 
a small uh, Audi RS6. When I think about it, Emil, I think actually I'm going to need the winter tires before I have time to paint it. So uh, it's really nice if you can bring the tires so I have them, have them when the snow is coming. So yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> Making the support is going to be there. Saturday morning. Now I'm going to do the foam between this steel bracket I put up yesterday and outside. Are you calling on? Hello! Do you know? Cutting the pipes. I am back to work, you know, after Rauris skis in tall. Well, it was only me and Jürgen Nilsen today. And today Nilsen was hard, so it was hard for me too. Today, I'm not gonna manage to make too much video because on the trailer, there I have gear yips. I, I forgot what that is in English. And inside, I have insulation from Glava. So now we're going to put insulation in between those wood pieces, then the yips plates, and then um, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to show you, but the thing is, I'm gonna make movie of this progress in Norwegian. Make a movie only of this in Norwegian. So that's gonna be my main main thing today. Yeah, it's gonna be good in the end, that's for sure. The only shitty thing about that is that the, the end, the end, that's far away. Here we have the gips plates from Giprox. Yeah, like I was afraid of, it was no time to make any movie with explanation in English today. But see now, Grava isolation is between all the standards, the wall pieces, and this uh, Giprox winter gips is on. And we put tape in all the um, where the hips is uh, together and underneath and all the where the hips is carried and stuff. You have to have tape. Next thing now is uh, wood pieces, like and schleifer, and then this black cladding. Then, then it's gonna be looking good. Huge thanks to these two. <laughs> these two, let's say boys. Yeah. So and then <clears throat> we managed to put this on the trailer also yesterday. So now I'm actually gonna take Emil's car inside and paint a small damage on it. Okay then Emil. Time to freck out this. Base color is on and done, then we're gonna do like this. Now we're gonna paint clear coat across here. Then we're gonna polish it out tomorrow. And it's perfect. Clear coat is on and I remove the tape there on the plastic protection stuff there. So the edge is going to be smoother and it's drying. Now it's going to stay like this till tomorrow. And then we're going to polish it and then it's done. It's Monday. Time to go and get rid of the old roof. And on the way back then I'm going to go and pick up uh, schleifer, wood pieces to have on the wall here. And now I'm going to count how much I need. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, then it's a good night. I only managed to put up this Schleife and Lecture today. And those three creating board. So in other words, it's been going really slow today because I had to organize a lot of other stuff during the day. I also sold this jumper today, actually. That's probably a good thing. Weather well, is good today, but it's a boring day because I'm I'm just drilling on the creatinine board. Quickly cleaner this one now. The customer who bought it is coming to pick it up now in a little bit of time. Down at Maxpo to buy some material and cut this one. Then guys, all the creatinine is on but it's not bolted more than in the bottom and on the top so now I have to make three lines and bolt those three lines in the middle also and I have to cut out here where the windows are because this is TY you see it or four windows this it's a great weapon eh now I can bolt in this line hmm. 
road 103. I am done with one and a half road. But now I'm out of bolts. So that was shit. I was sure I had one more box with bolts. I didn't. Then I'm gonna start to cut out with the windows and I'm gonna bolt more tomorrow. I'm done with the windows and it starts to rain now, so continue inside. Ugh. Looking good from this angle too. It's a new day. I picked up new bolts, but now I'm not sure anymore how to do it around the windows. We have a discussion there now how to organize it so it's going to be nice as possible. So I need more black parts. I'm going to go and order it now. Hello. I need black here, metal piece, you know, so the water is not going behind. Also inside there. Some of it I'm going to make myself, but some I'm going to order. I have actually ordered the one on top here. That's done, so I'm gonna go and pick it up now this morning. That's why I'm gonna measure out all the other parts I need. So I'm gonna order this when I pick up those. I feel this is difficult, guys, to organize this 100%. Never done it before. Hopefully I'm measuring, in, measuring out right now. Then we have the measurement. Then I'm gonna go and pick up the one on the top there and deliver this. Here we go. Beschlag. Yeah, my plan later, earlier, earlier later today was to, to paint. It's raining, so I'm not going to paint. I'm going to try to mount this uh, kledning I picked up. Nei, beslag. Eh, same color as on the roof and stuff, vet du. Ikke noe tøys og tull, dette. Oh la la. I was not sure about silver or black, but decided to go for silver and I think it's going to be looking good. I never mounted stuff like this before, but now I know I have to cut up here like this to make it fit there. Like that, I have to do the same on the, this one. I only do it with this uh, black socks from Stahlville. It's really good. I just realized I can't mount those today either because I have to glue them in the corner where they are overlapping. That's not possible in this weather. But now I can see roughly how it's going to be. And I think silver is looking good. I decided now not to work more outside. I'm going to continue here on my door. Now I'm going to make something more close. Closes this gap. I did find this. And this one is actually... I would say perfect. Just weld those together and I have one piece with to the top. I also got this brush gasket I ordered. You see this is like uh, with on the door so in the shopping center go to the sides. So this is gonna slide against the door on the top there to keep it closed for coldness. I realized before I can cut those on the length I have to make the top beschlag. This is going to be made like this one, a U profile. So I'm going to cut it and bend it now and make the one across here on top first. I found this plate from the basement. I'm going to cut it here now. I stopped making movies yesterday because I'm going to show you now. I cut the plate and this I was away bending at my sponsor. Also the top piece I have here and top piece there. And I also made one on the top with lying there. But something wrong happened with the measurement on the top there. So it, it's wrong. That's why I throw it in the trash. We have to make new one. I was pissed then because I didn't follow 100%. That's my mistake. So we have to make a new one then later on. I don't know when. It's going to be a great weather for painting here today. So what I do now, I'm drilling on the last road with bolts so then while I'm waiting for good temperature I'm mounting this list because I want to have this one centimeter from the black wall so this is now going to manage to make a nice gap underneath there these are going to paint black before I mount those hopefully it's going to be good yeah that was really smart from me so I'm going to paint that for now we're not going to see it at all and you get a perfect one or 11 millimeter edge. It's 
smart still. Well done. There we go, then I'm done painting this one all around. Yeah. Only this piece left. I'm done. Dennis, one on. Use the same bolts I used on the roof earlier on. I'm just gonna do the same all the way over there. To do this properly is a lot of work, so I only managed to put on this one and the small piece inside there. Now I have to go go and do something else. Look here now! Look here now! Those could be welded together. And this is the new top one if I made the wrong yesterday. It's gonna be up there. But it's the end. It's the end of this video. I am now gonna walk around and show you what I'm gonna do the next couple of weeks because I have to give this phone to service. So I guess I'm not gonna make too much movie now. Yeah, so here is what I'm gonna do now. Yeah, it's those. <clears throat> I'm gonna weld those two together, have those on to the top. The one on the floor gonna be across there, as I showed you. This I also showed the other day, this gonna be welded on in the corner there. I'm gonna put on this uh, list I showed you on the top when this is on. This is gonna be painted and stuff, and I have to make something in the end there, from the outside. Yeah, this door is a project it, it itself. To get it closed because the cold temperature is coming so i have to and the bottom i have to wait with this i have to do when the floor is leveled up and stuff you know so the the bottom i just have to do something temporarily to keep it closed so the, yeah because of temperature this door i'm going to take down 100 percent soon i have to close the gap there and i have to find a new this steel bracket i have to find one with three meter longer to take out over the window there because the window of this is, piece is going away. Gonna have a bigger gate. I'm gonna make one more door like this one here. So yeah, and the roof. I have to put plast all the way here, then straight it up with the selector. Then I have to put the eaves plates all the way. That's also something I'm gonna do the next days. And now this evening I'm gonna clean this machine, the sprinter, and I'm gonna take a picture of it tomorrow because this should have been on the internet for sale already, but I didn't manage to get that far. This also have for sale. This is just standing, it's a beautiful car, really nice, should be used by someone. And I'm gonna make the finish this what I did today. This I'm probably gonna to do tomorrow when the weather is good. Because this like this one is all good now actually. Yeah. I think the result of that is not too bad to be an amateur. It was really smart of me to put this list I showed you earlier on because now I have a nice, nice gap all the way. Looks straight and nice. Uh, tomorrow I'm also gonna work further on with. Yeah, I show. Ah, I didn't show you this, but I, I, this one is up. You see the wood piece there? It's the same I used here on the end. It's fitting there and it's going. It's flush, so this is going to be painted, going to take down, I put the isolation in between and stuff. Down here I have to have a, not wood, but metal, I'm going to make this, paint it black. Then wood pieces on the side. Actually, it's to manage to finish those four windows is, is, um, it's another project by itself. Ooh la la. And some weeks ago, I also got the aluminium pieces and stuff, the metal, so I could cut those pieces going to be there, there, across there and down. Those I'm going to cut, paint them black and glue them on. Same on the door here. I have to, like I did with those steel brackets inside there, I have to cut pieces here, bend it. Going to be all the way to the top and the bottom. Paint them here and glue them on. And I'm also gonna have aluminum piece. I'm gonna be painted black between there. So it's gonna be the same style there, like on the top. And here, like I showed you, here I have to, I'm gonna weld on a piece here, a smaller piece, which almost 
into this one and i'm gonna have a um, metal piece down here which is like my finger there with a gasket between here so when it's closed it's touching there and it's gonna be closed yeah but that's that's not too much work eh holy shit it was a lot of talking now but before this video is ending i'm gonna show you my father's project these days <laughs> oh la la my dad uh, bought this he been picking up lifting one and one onto a trailer this is uh, like these elements for industry doors you see it's for industry doors we gonna use them or he gonna use it like this on the wall this late it's perfect insulation actually and um, yeah I'm not sure if you have enough here is it also <laughs> someone and here and there and it's more up there on the on the ramp for my brother is even much more so i think it's more than a thousand square meters a lot more actually uh this i'm also going to do soon i hope to make this finish before winter is coming i'm gonna move it up in like a blocker and stuff i just have to try to organize like a blocker for a good price because leka is here in town actually this this i'm dealing with i'm on the way but this video is far 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 too long now so thanks for all the new subscribers i have been reading out of the comment on the last video here on youtube and i'm appreciating it really nice um please share this video and so i get more followers and stuff that mean maybe more sponsors more sponsors mean faster back to racing so I only see pluses here, so please help me share this and stuff. Till next time. Yeah, we can actually congratulation Andreas Bakkerud before we end there. He's a European Rallycross champion. Really good, Andreas. I'm uh, proud of you, doing a good job. So, like he said, flat out. Don't have to forget this part though. I'm soon gonna put more floor up here also, like this. But that's not gonna happen till today. Ha det bra.